Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Monica of Grey Glam Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to make the traditional local village woman jollof rice and beans. Oh, you will love this. You will love this. The first thing that we do is to wash and boil the rice. I am using vaporized rice like we call it in nigeria foreign rice that's what i'm using now before i go any further please leave me a comment like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel now this is the dry fish that i'm going to use to cook this jollof rice and beans original azo mangala azo on this fish is it's not for the um, for small children no it is not for small children it is for village mamas and glamas like me women wasabi okay so you have to first of all soak it in water and debone it that is remove all the bones the big bones the tiny ones the tiniest ones immediately the rice starts to boil then it is ready you just bring it down and wash it keep it aside now in another pot or the same pot add your red oil remember we are using red oil we are not going to fry anything pakam not even for a minute then you add turmeric powder you add enough onions enough onions then you add some of the dry fish okay then you add crayfish yes enough crayfish this is locally made village style jollof rice then add powdered ginger and i am using no cubes here as um, seasoning cubes okay then add some salt i will add fresh yellow pepper Aye. I wish you are here. I wish you are here to just perceive the aroma that is coming out already. Then stir it and cover to boil. Bring it to boil. Now you are going to test for salt. If you need to add more salt, more pepper, more crayfish, more seasoning, cube, whatever you need to add, add them now. Okay? Then you start adding the rice. Add rice, some rice first, then add, um, what's it called? Beans, yes, beans, beans, rice and beans, it's better than giacco. Then add some more rice on top of it, then add the last batch of beans. Did I get the beans? Of course, this is beans that I cooked before okay so when you cook the beans you keep it maybe in the fridge and then you can use it later to make this jollof rice and beans now it is time to add the remaining dry fish on top of the rice and beans you will notice that i have enough water in this rice this jollof rice and beans is different the way to cook it is different from the normal way we cook party jollof rice this is not party jollof rice this, this is village woman jollof rice and it is cooked differently if you notice party jollof rice you cover it with foil add a little water so that the heat will just cook it but in this type of jollof rice you add enough water cook it for 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> make when i start to bring when i play to this this rice eh it don't take away the hungry me it's been a long time that i've been craving for this rice now watch 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 can you see that it's like it's still like moist it has like little water inside eh it is done it is ready don't allow it to dry no you don't you don't we don't eat it dry this jollof rice and beans is ready it is ready it is not fried it doesn't have tomatoes but it is mm, so delicious so delicious <laughs> try it at home you know they call this uh, student jollof rice but this is 
the truth is that this is the way that cook it in the village we don't need tomatoes we don't need to be frying up and down just use palm oil and all those ingredients thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy it if you have come this far if you have watched it far please leave me a comment <laughs> like the video and share the video and don't forget to subscribe also now i am going to do the taste test <laughs> Oh, it didn't disappoint. It did not disappoint me. Oh. It passed the test. Permission to go and enjoy this rice while it is still hot. So I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye.